starting. Oh, hi, we're Myra and Kendra with Pencils and Deck Youth Center. How would you feel if we offered your sixth grader the opportunity to express themselves creatively through various writing activities while also learning to acquire the Spanish language and build confidence as they grow within their writing skills? I have a bachelor's degree in Spanish secondary education with a minor in English. When I heard that my hermana was thinking to start an educational writing program, I wanted to be a part of this wonderful opportunity because I would not only continue using the Spanish language, but also would be able to go back to that wonderful feeling I felt back when I was in a creative writing environment. The birth of our program began back in 2018 when we started collaborating. The idea of this program first rooted in my mind back in 2009 when I realized that there was no creative writing program that specialized in providing an outlet for students to express themselves artistically. I obtained a BA in English while I minored in Spanish. Now having a trusted partner and sister at Pencils on Deck Youth Center, LLC, who shares the same educational passion makes our duo a good fit for this program. The problem we've been noticing in the school environment is the lack of confidence in writing and it arose from a lack of reading and writing assessment tests being distributed regularly. Our customers are sixth graders with an interest in writing creatively and learning Spanish through interviewing activities. We would be the representatives because we have the background of working with the youth. This problem is very pressing because students are performing at their correct reading and writing level. Currently, our customers have looked into tutoring programs to solve the problem. They have branched out to other competitors such as Kaman and Merchant School programs as their alternative solution. These solutions fall short because they don't fit all of the needs of the customer. Now our solution would be to tailor lesson plans specifically to fit the needs of our customer. The benefit is that we not only require an affordable tuition, but that students will become prepared for the future grade levels. Our edge over the alternatives is implementing Spanish acquisition to encourage English grammatical improvements and offering various incentives such as premium packages that offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions. A few ways how our customer will hear our message is via our website, pamphlets, word of mouth, YouTube ads, social media, and community outreach. Our services will get to our customers virtually. We will make money from our customers via schools by using multiple contracts on different days and time sessions, charging parents via PayPal or in person at an affordable price of $40. We predict our break even point will be near the end of our 90 days. Our fixed costs will be the license insurance, legal and accounting, and internet. Our one time needs will be the laptop, website, tax ID, and registration. Our motivation to our future students is to encourage them to go on this journey of writing and learning a new language and culture while we tackle all of their struggles on deck. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think, trying to see. Just clarification, you said $40, is that an hour, a session? How does that work? Yes, we're still in the idea phase right now. So we're thinking that it would be um, based off of those two days that we would meet. We would do different sessions, maybe um, a group Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then maybe another one Monday and Wednesdays. And then we're trying to still work how we would factor in the $40. You mentioned in your, in your pitch, you know, your, your, um, your target, but how are you marketing to the, to the parents? Yes, um, so we've been, um, I know we've been creating a website and also pamphlets where it mentions our, um, our program's background as well as our background and how it will benefit the, their child, their, um, their youth specifically in the long run. Okay, um, and I mean, why do you decided to have your customers be the parents instead of maybe, you know, uh, actually bringing your business to the you know ed educational um organizations like you know there's educational organizations in the grand rapids area they work with something like this why do you decided to do it as with you know your parent to be a client versus an institution well because the parents when they would <laughs> we just said that they would be the customers because they're the ones who's actually paying for it but our target customers would be the sixth graders and that's why we would think of trying to contract with schools later so we could be in that environment but our 
the students, our future students would be our target customers, but the parents are the ones paying. <laughs> yeah, who will ultimately decide. <laughs> Cool, time. 